What's up everybody? It's your boy Nate from Flavor Productions here. <laughs> Psych! What up everybody? It's your boy Navy from Fly Low Productions here bringing y'all another episode of Moe Ninja Girls. Now, I know this is kind of late, but literally, a nigga been busy all goddamn day. But I feel like it's not right if I don't continue the story to Moe Ninja Girls. Now, actually, I was in there doing the ninja fights because, you know, I just thought about I need to start earning some more of the uh, stuff, the stuff and the stuff. And so, while I was doing Ninja Fight, I ended up unlocking Tenge's swimsuit. So, apparently, doing Ninja Fight, you can unlock extra stories. But before we even get into anything, just like what we do on Fire Emblem, it's time for us to summon up something. We got enough diamonds to do the body gotcha. So let's see what we get. Yes. Oh, look at that. We got Inju. Yo, I'm, I'm happy about this. If y'all don't know this by now, Angel, that's a baby girl. She wife of... Hey. Ah. Hey, hold up. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so let's see. Oh, yeah. I wonder if I plug in my headphones, can I? What would that do? Oh, that's, that's weird. Let's set that as a favorite. Save. Y'all. Okay, enough bullshitting. Let me drink my little sip of water. We about to continue. Wasn't it chapter three? Did I, did I leave off on chapter three? Of season one? God damn, what would I do to be that time? And the baby's crying and my application is about to restart. So let's just close it out real quick. Let's get back into this, shall we? Who the hell? And what the fuck? Oh, you have new notifications on Facebook. I don't care. Boom, 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 boom. All right, let's... Oh, okay. That girl was definitely after me. More than likely, she was a pursuer sent from the village. I'll be attacked again, no doubt about it. So in that case, I need to come up with a counter strategy. All I want to do is live a quiet life. I knew that leaving the village meant I had to be prepared for this, but I didn't expect them to send assassins after me quite so soon. Still though, it was only yesterday. There's no way I'm going to encounter her again. The very next day. Right, and so this is Rika, <laughs> this is Rika Machiuki, the new transfer student. Pleased to meet you. <clears throat> I couldn't see her face last night because of the mask, but that voice, that presence, there's no doubt about it, this is the ninja girl who attacked me. How bold. She failed the assassination, so now she's throwing herself right into the thick of things? Machiyuki C shall be that one behind the window seat. 
is open. Sit over there. Yes, sir. Huh? That's the seat diagonally behind me. Her expression is un unflinching, like everything is totally normal. Breaker arrives at the seats, indicated by the teacher. I'm teaching the first lesson, so let's go ahead and get started. Get out your textbooks. What cruel twist of fate is this? Next, the teacher asks a ridiculous question. Do you have a textbook, Machiyuki san? I'm fine. Wow, the school year has just started and we keep getting transfers. Navy, what's wrong? N nothing. With this seating arrangement, I'll be spending a lot of time with my back to an assassin. Surely she wasn't. She wouldn't try to attack me in the middle of a lesson, but I hear the sound of something cutting through the air behind me. I swiftly reach out to grab it. I catch it in the palm of my hand. Hopefully, it's just a bit of a broken off eraser or something. A poison needle? She sits there, glaring at me like a wild animal out for the kill. This is no good. She doesn't care if it's in the middle of a lesson. She's just going to come at me. At this rate, my peaceful student life. Oh wait, my peaceful student life is really just a distant dream. I have to deal with this quickly. Hmm. I don't know what choice this will make. Like, okay. Let's roll with we have to talk it out. Hey, hey! Just going to ignore me after all, eh? Navy, we're in the middle of a lesson, you know. Yes, I know. You're interested in a new transfer student, right? I so get it. I can't wait to talk to her either. You too, Akari? All of humanity are friends. That's my motto. You can't rush things, though. I see. I like you, Akari. Talking to Akari helps me... I got a feeling I just got closer to Akari. <laughs> Talking to Akari helps me relax a little. I'll wait for an opportunity to talk to the girl and try to settle this. Don't try to dip. Damn! Damn it, Akari. Keep on getting close to you. Thick. Hey. Yeah, you see, this song is for you, Andrew. Mm. Yeah. Okay, here we go. You see that girl that sit behind me? She tried to kill me though. But Andrew, baby girl, you was never a hoe. I'm trying to get you to be mine. I'm trying to be yours. But a car in the way though. Big titties, blonde hair. Black hair, I don't care. I'm trying to get in between there. I may be like a nipple over here. So bring that ass over here, baby girl. Let me see the way you jiggle. Let me see that fucking world. I'm trying to get up in the shits and I'm a. Let me stop, okay? <sighs> in the end, I spent the entire period being targeted by Rekha. Dodging the attacks wasn't that difficult, but the fact that none of the lessons contents actually stuck in my head was a pain. Bear me, Navy. You look so tired. Are you really that intrigued by Riga? <laughs> Why do you say that? You can't fool me. You spent the whole lesson looking at Riga, right? <laughs> you want to get to know Riga, right, Navy? Me too. No, it's not that. You, come too, Andrew. You're the class rep after all. I have something to <clears throat> I have something to take care of in the student council room. Bah. Well, if it works, I suppose it can be helped. Come on, let's go make friends with Rekha. Hey, what? The car takes my arms in hers. Or rather, she takes hold of my arm and drags me along. Hmm. This position isn't too bad. Her chest is pressing against me. No, wait, what am I saying? Don't try anything funny with a car engine because I'm not around, all right? Of course not. With these parting words, Andrew leaves the classroom. She really doesn't trust me at all, does she? Oh well. I know that I have, I have to have a proper talk with Rekka later. Anyways. Rekka! Rekka looks up. Her face as expressionless as ever. What is it? I'm Makari. Pleased to meet you, Rekka. Pleased to meet you. 
She mutters this quiet, then turn her gaze to me. There's a look of uncertainty in her eyes. Did she think that I brought a car alone? Hey, you. How am I supposed to? How am I supposed to broach this sub the subject exactly? We need to be alone, so maybe I should just ask her to meet me later. Hey, Navy. I know this sudden, but I want you to listen to what I've got to say. Take a hint, man. John cuts in all the same. An earnest look on his face. A serious expression like that doesn't seem like him at all. He doesn't have something really serious to say, does he? I really do think what I saw was a ninja after all. I thought it might be an illusion like you said, but I don't want to give up just like that. I want to chase the dream. I really think ninjas do is this. What do you think, Navy? Don't bring that up now of all times. Oh, shit. Yeah. Let's continue. No, wait. Let's, let's argue back. Let's say there's no way they exist. Listen, Johnny. There's no way ninjas really exist. But I definitely. And you also said that there's no way ninjas could exist, didn't you? I mean, if ninjas really existed, why haven't there been any signings up until now? Well, that's because ninjas keep themselves well hidden. Now, how come you were able to see one, Johnny? Well, well, I don't know. It'll be amazing if they really did exist, though. Yeah, it would. I don't think they let themselves be seen that easily, though. <laughs> well, basically, even if ninjas were real, they obviously keep themselves hidden, right? Being seen by some random uninvolved person, and even worse, attacking someone in public, they would be a disgrace to a very idea of ninjas, right? <laughs> yes, it must be a very, it must have been a very dumb ninja. <laughs> well played, Navy, well played, I like that. Oh, Rick is giving John a really fair glare. Not that he realizes it. Hopefully he doesn't keep her in check. At least a little. So the ninja I saw. So the ninja I saw really was real after all? No, I didn't say that. Alright, now I just need to tie up the conversation neatly. If this doesn't work, I'll have to take a more direct approach. Hmm, okay. I got it. What if we try to find this ninja? The one Johnny saw. Huh? What are you talking about, Akari? That is a wonderful idea. Right. If they really are ninjas, I want to talk to them. Yeah, baby. I can ask to train under them. Hey, what are you two saying? For some reason, the conversation has suddenly taken an unexpected turn. If I would injure the world of men, there was nothing to stop a car and John from running wild. So like, a school club, a club to see for ninjas. A wonderful car, that's the best idea I ever heard. There's no such club as that though. Well, then we'll just have to make one. Where have I heard that line before? Wait, you're going to make a what? We're going to form a ninja seeking club. That wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> this game, this storyline just keep getting more random. The next episode preview, presented by Rick and Bro, Mew, hello. Let's clean this cast. We haven't met in the story yet. I don't know. What should we do? A mission is a mission. I will deliver the next episode preview at all costs. You're so reliable. Maybe use Kyle the tactics to keep me in check. After him saying that, it will be difficult to assassinate him in public. Dirty. Just what you expect from a ninja. Dirty. Do I sense a personal grudge here too? You're imagining things. Half of because of him bringing up this subject, things took an unexpected turn. He dug his own grave. You seem short of fleas. Can Navy return to the quiet life he dreams of? By the way, the next episode previews are beneficent. So you didn't hear anything, and you don't know anything. Got it? Oh, yes, right. And so the next episode is chapter four. Victims come first. 
out of the frying pan into the fire. By the way, will you be up in Navy Senpai's life again in the next chapter, Rika Senpai? Wait, and find out next time. Hey, even though Andrew wasn't there, your boy got a step closer. I need to pursue, like, I'm gonna get her. Andrew, you're gonna be mine. I will jiggle them breasts, I will smack the abs, and I will lick the nipples, and then, and then I'll kiss your lips, look you dead in your eyes, and then take you out to dinner. Why? Because I'm a nice person. Again, repeat. All right. Season 1, Chapter 4, Victim Comes First. Starting today, we are going to form a Ninja Seeking Club. Hey, they got the beat back. After school on the day of Akari's declaration. Andrew, Andrew! What is it? How do you start a club? Is she really serious about starting that club? A club? You have to have a, mini, a minimum of eight members. You also need a teacher to be the advisor. Then there's the necessary paperwork. Yeah, yeah. What? Are you planning on starting a new club? Yeah. Ah, Andrew. Aren't you going to stop her? Why? It's fine, isn't it? You seen that Akari's all fired up after all. Just what I expect from Andrew. You got it. You did say that you wanted to do something new, didn't you, Akari? Andrew slipped a, a worried grin. Now that I think about it, Andrew wasn't there when Akari and the others were going crazy. But in the end, it won't get... It won't get to be approved, right? Well, our school has a basic, basically liberal tradition, so as long as the club isn't too weird, I think it'll be approved. And what kind of club are you thinking of starting? The Ninja Seeking Club! <laughs> I'm sorry, could you repeat that? Ninja Seeking Club! Are you a fool? There's no way they approve a club like that. Though she hasn't been smiling along until now, Andrew's voice suddenly becomes harsh. Of course, even Andrew never expected to hear such a stupid name. What are you even supposed to do in this club? Like it says, it's a club that seeks ninjas. Maybe even agree to it. <laughs> While saying all this, Akari pulls my arm. I never said anything like that. <laughs> Navy was talking about him too. That was just a hypothetical. I never said any, I never said they really existed. You just said it yourself that a club like that would never get approved. Navy, you're on my side, aren't you? No, you see. Let's go. It's just like Andrew said, there's no way a club, a club of that, this kind of club would be approved. That's right. We're on the same page, aren't we? Eh. Hey, so the school tradition ain't so liberal after all. There's a difference between liberality. Okay. Oh, and non-interference. OMG. And here I thought we were going to have a fun anime-ish club. You need to distinguish anime from reality. Anyway, a club like that is impossible. Fine, I'm not giving up on it. Oh, damn. Look at that. Look at that, man. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get into it. We got one more story ticket. Man, oh. Okay, first off, we need to get members. <laughs> nice idea, of card. A card. These guys are hopeless getting all pumped up amongst themselves. Do not even listen to what Angel and I have to say. <laughs> In that case, what about Yamabuki? Oh, I pass. I hear Yamabuki say from her seat a little way off. That's unexpected. I figured she'd want to join. You're already in the comics club, aren't you, Yamabuki? Dojo activity, was it? I heard you really are popular. <laughs> oh, you're embarrassing me. Oh, by the way, this is a new book I sold at least 
at the lead, at the last dope GC fair. <laughs> Looking at the thin blue hand to him, John always got big and his hand starts to shake. I'll take three copies of the new book. Oh, sorry. The two limit rule. Shoot! But the terrible, unpre unpredicted. Well, John collapses on the spot. I get that it's a joke, Dojinsi. But what was with that overreaction? Ah, the two limit rule is sort of for one purchase limited to a two copies. It's common for popular authors at the Dojinshi Fair. I see. No, wait. That wasn't what I was going to ask. I've been a fan since I was back home. Autograph, please. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> I'm blushing. Anyway, Yamabuki is an author with sales, so I can understand that you're busy. In that case, I guess it's the three of us for starters. Me, Johnny, and Navy. Hey, don't include me in the comments. Alright, anyway, so we need to get members, so let's talk to the teacher. Let's go, Navy. Stop pulling on me. I never said I was going to join. Never holding fast to my arm of a car and I run to the school at sunset. Navy, you know what this means, right? Ah, you. <laughs> this is an interesting development, right? Now you're like the protagonist of a manga. No, this isn't the story I was hoping for. Let's go, Navy. Our story just begun. Oh, a card that line used as an ending in games, isn't it? No, just say whatever. What a great teacher. He listened to what we had to say so seriously. I wonder. I have a feeling that I have a feeling it was more like he was just listening because he couldn't stop the card when she started talking. But he did say that it would be fine. So as long as we got the members, we need it. You don't know what irony is, do you? I guess we just have to find more members. Come forth, comrades of destiny. Destiny? Huh? No. Okay, I'm going to have to use one of my other little story tickets. Ah, uh, well, of course that means you too, Navy. Yay, destiny. One way of thinking about it, a real ninja like me getting mixed up in this might be Destiny. I don't want to acknowledge this Destiny though. Does she really plan to start this ninja seeking club? I wonder what's got her so keyed up on this. Oh! <laughs> you know what? I gotta ask, why are you going this far? Because even. Even I'm interested in this. Why are you going this far? Oh, well, if ninjas really are out there, don't you want to see them? I don't. Really? I'm getting tired of seeing them. Well, I haven't ever joined a club or done much of anything. Angel's always been the class rep and she joined the student council. But I've never done anything like that. So this is a challenge. This is my first challenge. That's what... That was what Akari said yesterday about her goals for the new year. I see, in other words, Akari wanted to see something new, and this is it. Yeah, about that. I really don't want to talk to them if they're really all ninjas. I see. That dream is already fulfilled. Not that I can tell her. And the next day while I'm headed to the classroom, Akari calls out to me. Ah, Navy! What is it? I made a poster to recruit members. So you went and made it? Huh? Look, look! We'll get tons of members with this! Part of her work, Akari thrust the poster on me. Let's see, it says. Let's look for ninjas together, seeking people who know about ninjas. Won't you pledge your youth to us? What is this? I don't think you'll get too many people with this. The more I look at it, the more of a mess it is. The one thing that gets across is her passion, at least. But what's wrong with it? Well, mainly you can't tell what you'll be doing in the club. Also, there's no contact information. Nobody will know how to contact you. Oh, that's right. Wait, why am I seriously giving her advice? I'll go fix it right away. Thanks. Oh, hey, wait. Akari just runs off before I can stop her. Well, it seems Akari is serious about looking for ninjas. She did make the poster overnight. 
there wouldn't really be members looking to join it, would there? Alright. So, I know, I already knew what I chose was going to make me one step closer to Akari. But, I can't lie, even I was interested. So, um, yeah. So, we made it to Chapter 4, Part 4. And, um... Before I end off this video, let's check out this little extra story. and I shouldn't have checked this out yet. One day, a little while after Rip had joined the Ninja Seeking Club, the morning lesson's in, so we put our desks together and make us and make a start on lunch. There are five of us, me, Akari, Rika, Yamabuki, and Johnny. Me and Tenge, who are in different gears from us, are probably eating their lunches in their own classrooms. Apart from them not being with us, everything is just like usual. It would've been nice if Angel could've joined us. Yeah, but she's busy with the student council. It's almost like our student council does more for the school than the teachers. Still, this is my chance. Now that Andrew's not here, no one can stop me from a little sexual harassment. No, I'm still here. Do you even know what sexual harassment means? <laughs> he knowing what it is, but being unable to stop it is what a sexual harassment is all about. If you were any kind of man, you understand. What are you even talking about? Just a minute, lady. You want a cute girl to feed you, right? F feed me? N no, there's no way I want that. Akari, Rika, maybe says he's still hungry. You two should feed him. Y Yamabuki. <laughs> really? Then I'll give you some of mine, okay? Open wide. Hey, you don't have to... You don't have to take what Yamabuki says seriously. I'm not giving you my fried little hot dog. I don't want it. Don't tell me, Navy. It's my tempura and sushi that you're really after, isn't it? Ugh, this is making me thirsty. I'm just gonna go and buy something to drink. See you later. What the heck? Are you ignoring me? <laughs> All I want to do is eat my lunch in peace. Why does it always have to end up like this? It was Yamabuki's bad. It was Yamabuki's bad today. But Akari and Rick are usually fine. The balance between idiots and straight men is weird without any drew around. As I mow things over, I buy tea from the vending machine. I start to go back to the classroom where. Okay, I'm gonna make a deep mysterious guess who it is. I'm suddenly blinded from behind. <laughs> so careless, normally I would have sent someone from a mile away. I wonder if I'm just off guard after lunch. To be taken from behind like this is such a disgrace. If we were on the battlefield, I'd be dead by now. You know who this is, right? The person behind me seemed to be trying to provoke me. How about now? Huh? Two tender mouths pressed softly against my back, the sensation found in all man's dream. And they aren't just any old size. Now you get it right. Huh? Huh? She presses her chest against me even more. They feel just like pillows. No, marshmallows. No, this softness cannot be put into words. Oh, you're so stiff. You still don't know. Do you give up? No. no. It's you, Tenge-san, right? Well done, good boy. Tenge lifts away her hands and gives a playful smile. How did you know? Well, the tits. My tits? Mm -hmm. What about it? I want you to tell me. That, that, that's right, I had a feeling in my chest. You being the same, being in the same club as me and all. Is that so? I believe you. <laughs> so, so, what are you doing here, Tenge-san? 
Well, what do you think? I'm not so sure. <laughs> Actually, I was looking for you. Me? Why? Because, if I'm honest, I... Tenge stares at me with a passionate gaze and leaves a second before speaking. Did you eat lunch yet? What? The student council meeting went on for so long that I missed lunch. I wanted to find someone who ate with me. Oh, so that's why. What's that for? Don't tell me I made you expect something else. No, nothing like that. No. Oh. <laughs> well, how about it? I already ate lunch, but I just brought a drink, so if that's okay, then sure. Of course it is. So long as I don't get bored from eating lunch all alone. What do you want to eat? I know somewhere good. So let's go. She takes me to the school courtyard. There are benches here. So it's a good place to eat. Tinke gives a huge stretch next to me. Ah, feels so good to eat out here. It's a nice view, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, you're right. What an absent minded response. Do you really think so? Tenge moves closer as if doubtful. She's so close, her boobs are touching me. Again! Uh, of course I do. Oh. So what do you like about it? Her chest press is even harder against my arm. Oh no, they're so soft, I'm freaking out. Calm down, calm down. Deep breaths, deep breaths. Hey, Navy. What do you like about it? Well, I like the grass, and The grass? I like how the grass grows, I guess. What am I saying? I like the grass? What am I? A cow? <laughs> You're a funny boy. I never get bored with you. Tenge moves her chest away and I quietly clear my throat. <clears throat> if you don't eat up quick, then lunch will be over. Got it. Even Tenge won't make a pass at me while she's eating. Or at least, so I thought. By the way, I have sausages for lunch today. I love sausages. <laughs> what am I reading? <laughs> I can't read this. <laughs> oh, no. Hell <laughs> no. Oh my god. I just want y'all to know I'm straight. I like vaginas and titties and ass. Oh. <laughs> okay. But the. <laughs> Alright. I got this. I can do this. But these sausages are bigger and fatter than I thought. I wonder if I could fit them in. Mm. Oh, so good. The sausage is so good. What's the matter, Navy? You've been staring at my mouth for a while now. No, no way. Um, I'm not, um... Don't tell me. You wanted some sausage <laughs> No, Tenge, what I want you to do is come and is unzip a nigga pants and, you know, proceed from there. This is kind of mature. Like, oh my god. No, I already ate. You don't have to hide it. You're a guy after all, Navy. School lunch just isn't filling enough. Here, this is for spending lunch with me. Open wide. Open wide? Open that mouth nice and wide. The singer keeps on pushing the subject. I'll open my mouth. Okay. Ah. Uh, <laughs> how does it taste? Good. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I'm so happy to hear that. Singa gives a laugh and suddenly looks at her watch. Oh. I have to. I have to be. I have to back to. <laughs> okay. I'm going to read it just like this. I ain't going to correct it. Oh, I 
have to back to the student council room soon. I still have some work to do. It's tough being on the student council, huh? Yeah, and I'll have to do work that requires strength. There are no guys around, so it's going to be tough. Oh, really? It will be really great if someone can give me a hand. Tenge looks towards me with a glint in her eye. In other words, I think she wants me to help. Fine, I'll help you. <laughs> what? Really? Thank you so much. Well, you gave me a sausage. I'm not busy after My mind is so in the gutter. Oh, <laughs> these dirty, dirty, dirty thoughts. <laughs> Thank you, Navy. Here. Suddenly, my arm is pressed up against Tenge's huge tits again. Hey, T Tenge, son. Hey, Navy. Tenge whispers softly into my ear. Once we're done, I'll give you an even better reward. A re reward? What could it be? <laughs> it's a secret. I'll make it good. A secret? I wonder what kind of reward is waiting for me once I finish helping her. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna end the gameplay right there. That that was kind of extended. So you know I'm gonna just I don't know what I'm gonna do. But yeah, I was gonna say I'll just cut it out. But then nah, who does that? I do. I might cut it out. Yeah, most likely I will because who was, who was going to sit down and watch an almost 40 minute video? Especially from a small YouTuber like me. But y'all know what y'all can do. Like, subscribe, share with your friends, comment down in the comment section below. I, 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 I can't believe I read all that. I'm not reading none of that again. But y'all already know what time it is. It's time for me to get on to playing some goddamn Fire Emblem. So I will see y'all in the next gameplay. Peace.